I am in second grade and I am now eight. So Neil, I just love to hear what you've been up to this last year since we haven't seen you since the summer. Well, I've been up to acting, playing, and making my Lego ships. Do you remember the first time you came to Theater Lab Summer Camp? Yep. Tell me about it. What was that like? It was like I was amazed and I was first like worried about it. Then I got used to it. And then I was like, it was great. Were there things that helped you kind of get used to it? There was that the teachers were kind and helpful in times when I was like getting stuff wrong because everyone at their first time gets stuff wrong. So. Yeah, it's a first time for everything, right? And were you nervous on that first day? Yes, I was very nervous. Yeah, I think that's normal. I will tell you just as teachers, we're often nervous on the first day too. After maybe, let's say, three or four days uh, in camp, how were you feeling in the morning when you got up and you knew you were coming to camp? I was just really happy, excited, and I couldn't wait. That's awesome. I was some, like, I get up early, as you know, and wake up my parents, and I'm like, when am I going? When am I going? And Neil, if I remember correctly, you showed up with some pretty cool costume pieces for camp. Do you remember those? I do. Um, it was just actually a piece that I had for a while, and I, ho I knew it would fit me, and it was a Indian, traditional Indian clothing piece. Can you describe to me what your teachers were like? They were awesome, kind, helpful, respective, and shout out to Bree. She was the best I know. If you were to say was if camp was similar to school, different to school, which where would you land on that? How would you describe that? It's different because at school it's like you gotta just write stuff down you gotta like study but here you can have more fun you can actually like do something you like and Seema if I could pull you in for just a second um could you talk about as a, as a parent because I know you know Mia was just going into first grade really young what it was like um initially you know bringing him to a new summer camp and then how you felt as kind of the days went on I mean, I think, you know, Tara, I'm a very involved parent and you got a lot of preliminary emails from me. Um, we had no um, affiliation or anything with Theater Lab. I just Googled acting for kids and it came up. And um, I have to say, it's just the luckiest moment in our lives that we kind of fell into your guys' laps. Um, I knew Niam was always creative and I knew I wanted some sort of outlet for that creativity because once he had started you know, real school, there, there weren't those moments for performance that he had in preschool. Um, and so that was sort of a big impetus. And he's such a creative kid. And I was like, you know, if, if he can do this for eight hours a day, and he's happy, then I'm happy. And uh, what do you enjoy most about acting? Um, that you can live another person's life, but in a way that it makes you like, express the person what you think the person would have felt like but also a safe way like maybe let's say this person had a gunfight and died you don't really die but you acted so yeah i think that's my favorite part you had just a really special experience uh last summer that was different from the other campers in that uh you acted in our uh musical theater institute for teen production of Big Fish. So can you tell us a little bit about the role that you played in Big Fish? Well, Big Fish is a musical and I played Will, the main character's son. Yes, and how did you, how did you prepare to play that role? Because you got cast after all of the teens had already been rehearsing, so you had to like really catch up pretty fast. Um, well, how did you get ready? So I, practiced my lines a lot and I worked hard. I also got a costume that I think would be good together. And I got from the director, the director said no one 
like when they first came in on the first day, knew my lines like me. Everyone was like saying, um, uh, um. Yeah, I know everyone was so impressed with you, Liam. I was also very impressed. So what was it like to perform in front of such a large audience? Well, it felt like my dreams coming true. Yeah. Nice. And uh, on a scale of one to 10, how nervous did you feel uh, before you went on stage for the first time, the first Big Fish performance? 10. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. How did you feel uh, when the show was over and you heard that applause? Um, I think I felt happy and since it was my first like real, real play, I think I felt very excited still. And I felt like I had a sugar rush from eating all those candies they had there. Is there anything that you learned in theater camp or from being uh, in the Big Fish production that you use in your regular non-actor life? Yes. Uh, at school, when I stand up to tell the class something, I'm not as nervous as I usually would be. That's a, that's a good life skill to get from theater, for sure, is, you know, that public speaking. And, just and also, when I... I'm at home, I get, I like play and pretend I'm something else. I think my favorite person to be is King George the <laughs> Third. Nice. And do you have uh, costume pieces that you like to wear when you're playing King George the Third? Yeah. Find good help these days. <laughs> I'm just a stagehand, Tara. This is my life. <laughs> oh my goodness, Neam, look at that! Now that, you know, you've, you're have you like a Theater Lab veteran, you're going to be coming back for your second year in the Bravos, you've been in a team performance, um, what would you say to a kid who is thinking about doing theater lab camp? What was nervous? I would say that it's not just the camp. It's not like a camp you go, da da da. It's a, it's like a community of people that like to act and are very artistic, kind, helpful, and courageous. Yes, I mean I think the. The most special thing about Theater Lab for anybody who's a nervous parent or child thinking about coming is that it is one of the most um, inclusive, kind, warm, welcoming places. I feel like for the, the jazzy hand type of kids, it's great. For the kind of more reserved but imaginative, it's great. I feel like the teachers always bring out the best in everybody. And, you know, as a nervous parent, you know, you're like, oh my gosh, new camp, where am I dropping my child off for eight hours? You cannot go wrong with Theater Lab. I have nothing bad to say about this place, only good. You guys are a gem. Thank you both so, so much. Thank you, Tara. Thank you. See you in the summer.